Perhaps one of the most anticipated part of the Miss Universe pageant is the evening gown competition. It is a showcase of class, elegance, grace, and beauty. Never in the history of the pageant that evening gown itself could be the basis of selecting the winner, not even the designer of the gown, but the lady who wore it. The evening gowns of Miss Universe pageant throughout history showed us the classic 50s, hip styles in the 60s, retro styles in the 70s, while 80s proved to be the bold and trendy. The 90s were the luxurious and modern, and the new millennium was by far the high fashion yet glimmering designs. Pageant Tidbits will present the Filipina finalist in the Miss Universe pageant to see the evolution of gowns through fashion that led to some iconic images of today. Maria Candida Blesilda Ocampo, or Bessie, was the first Filipina to ever place in the Miss Universe semifinals in 1954. Unfortunately, there was no video or articles showing her in the evening gown segment of the pageant. Miss Philippines 1963, Lalaine Bennett wore a printed semi-ball gown matched with white gloves in Miss Universe 1963 evening gown parade, where she emerged as third runner-up. According to some pageant historians, fashion designers were not usually called to create gowns for our representatives in pageants back in 50s and early 60s, and where either the gowns were bought or their family-owned wardrobe. Luis Vale Aurelio wore a splendid blush pink gown for Miss Universe 1965. Her gown was also accentuated with gloves and sparkling dangling earrings. She made it as one of the semi-finalists in that year's Miss Universe. Donning a two-piece terno, Clarinda Soriano sashayed simply during the Miss Universe 1966 pageant in Miami Beach where she was also a semi-finalist. A creation from national artist for fashion, Jose Pitoy Moreno, Gloria Diaz was a standout during Miss Universe 1969 gown segment. She wore a two-tone Venus cut gown with white and a shimmer design of silver en route to her Miss Universe 1969 victory. Army Barbara Crespo was ahead of her time when she wore a fabulous ensemble, a white number with cascading black beadings with matching black cape to complete the look. Army was one of the top 12 semi-finalists in Miss Universe in Puerto Rico. Margie Moran's gown was created by her mentor designer, Oji Cordero, who also created most of her gowns during her Binibining Pinibinas reign. Her iconic, goddess-like, with cabbage rose on one shoulder gown was phenomenal in Greece, where the pageant was held. Margie clinched the Miss Universe 1973 title. In 1974, the Philippines played host to Miss Universe for the first time, and Guadalupe Sanchez represented the Philippines. During the Top 12 Evening Gown competition, Guada was all sophisticated with her white and pink beaded number. Her performance was also highlighted with her long, silky, straight hair. It's all about natural beauty back then. Rosemary Brosas, or Chiki, wore another Pitoy Moreno creation in Miss Universe 1975. Her presentation during the evening gown segment was flawless. The fabric used to create the masterpiece seems like Chiki was having the time of her life. She was named as fourth runner-up in the pageant. By far the most underrated gown in all Miss Philippines during Miss Universe, but with Maria Rosario Chatsilayan's magnificent performance, she was elevated in the top five in Korea. The mermaid cut powder blue gown was created by Chat's mentor, Rene Salud.
Another Creation from Renee Salud, the gown which Maria Desiree Verdadero wore in Miss Universe 1984 made her outstanding in the evening gown competition. The printed flowy gown gave Desiree extra points to become third runner-up in Miss Universe. Recently, her beauty queen daughter wore the very same dress in one of the events of Binibining Pilipinas in 2021. Geraldine Asis or Pebbles emerged relatively victorious during the evening gown competition of Miss Universe 1987 in Singapore. Wearing her prize-winning Binibining Pilipinas black gown accentuated further with sequins, beads, and rhinestones on the left hip area designed and executed by Goli Gorospe. Pebbles scored heavily by placing fourth in the gown segment. Charlene Gonzalez wore a fully beaded gown matched with a bouffant skirt during Miss Universe 1994 pageant in Manila. She made it to the top six finalists with her overall semi-final performance while it was still a puzzle who actually made her evening gown. Some experts said it was created for her by Pitoy Moreno or a collection from American fashion designer Bob Mackey. Miriam Kiambao was divine in her light blue Halston competition gown for Miss Universe 1999. The Halston gown was from the spring-summer 1998 Preta Pote collection. The gown was also accentuated with beads by the team of Colombian designer Alfredo Barraza. Miriam, with that iconic gown, scored second best at the evening gown competition behind Miss Spain. Maria Venus Ra was an instant favorite in Miss Universe 2010, and when she made it all the way to the finals, it was evident that she will showcase a memorable performance. Her evening gown was not a hands-down favorite by many pageant enthusiasts, but she delivered a performance worthy of a top 5 placement. She scored 5th in the said segment and placed 4th runner-up overall. Colombian designer Alfredo Barraza created a gown for Venus. A sheer body-hugging gown was presented to Shamsi Soup Soup for her Miss Universe 2011 competition. Designed by Alfredo Barraza, Shamsi was also a hit during the evening gown competition armed with confidence and that megawatt smile. She made the country proud by placing third runner-up in Brazil. A handful of pageant fans were not initially contented with the gown of Philippine Bet to Miss Universe 2012 Janine Tugonon. It was made by Alfredo Barraza and for some, it looked like a gift wrapping with ornaments as designs. However, Janine proved to everyone that it was not the gown, but the lady who wore it. She exuded class and elegance during the evening gown competition and ultimately was awarded as first runner-up in Las Vegas. Yellow is the color of joy and celebration. The exact line of Jeannie Mai, the backstage correspondent during Miss Universe 2013 in Russia. Truly, Ara Arida was able to show that she enjoyed her gown performance and it was indeed a celebration for the Filipinos with a third runner-up win. Although the gown was simple and nothing really phenomenal about it, Ara was divine that night and the last post she did was nothing but iconic. The gown was also designed by Alfredo Barraza. What can I say? This gown, along with her national costume, made a huge mark in Philippine pageantry for its lack of impact for the beautiful Mary Jean Lastimosa. Although a true stage performer, MJ was not in her best during the evening gown segment, which left her in the top 10 of Miss Universe. Some insiders took note that there was a lot of adjustments for the gown and added materials to make it more pleasant for the finals. Indeed, MJ showed to us that it was not the gown, but the lady who wore it.
This Albert Andrada creation was a signal for Filipino designers to finally dress up our candidates in Miss Universe stage after so many years. This royal blue masterpiece was perfect fit for Pia Wurzbach during Miss Universe 2015. The simplicity of the facade of the gown to its elaborated back details were enough for Pia to gain more points to help her win the Miss Universe crown after 42 years. Maxine Medina was supposed to wear a red cherry veric gown for Miss Universe finals in Manila, but for some reasons, it was replaced by another red and silver ensemble by Rep Ayala. Maxine was visibly proud to sashay on stage wearing the gown, and she made it all the way to the top six in Miss Universe. By far the sexiest Miss Universe gown ever worn by a Filipina in Miss Universe. High slit, bare side waist and arms, and ample showing of cleavage for a Miss Universe Philippines. It was an eye-opener for pageant fans in the country. Rachel Peters truly mastered the art of showing us a combination of sexy, sultry, and class. She made it to the top 10 of Miss Universe 2017 wearing the creation of Val Taguba. A lava walk for a lava gown. Catriona Gray wore a red high slit gown made by Filipino fashion designer Matt Pumang during the evening gown competition in Miss Universe 2018 in Bangkok. The lava gown or the Mayon gown is made of tulle encrusted with Swarovski crystals in 12-toned color palette that ranged from yellow to dark red. Catriona decided to pick the gown for the Miss Universe as her mother dreamed of her winning the Miss Universe crown wearing a red gown. Gazzini Ganados dazzled on stage wearing a glided evening gown by designer Carrie Santiago. Carrie delivered a stunning golden gown that highlighted Gazzini's curves, accentuated her caramel skin tone, and made Gazzini seem as if she's soaring on stage. A closer look at the gown's details, revealing an intricately made frock that resembled the silhouette of Gazzini's fuchsia gown from the Binibining Pilipinas 2019 Coronation Night. Gazzini made us proud by making it to the top 20 in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. And finally, Rabia Mateo wore a bright yellow Fern One Amato number in the pageant preliminaries. She emerged in the one-shoulder tulle gown encrusted with Swarovski crystals that according to the designer, the gown was inspired by the Philippine sun. The cape added royalty to the gown and its beadwork was inspired by the radiance of the Philippine sun which symbolizes positivity and optimism. Rabia finished her Miss Universe campaign with a top 21 placement. Who will be the next in line to showcase her beauty and elegance in the Miss Universe stage? Can you guess the next gown color our Miss Universe Philippines will wear in the upcoming Miss Universe 2021 in Israel on December? We are as excited as everyone, so stay tuned! For more pageant stories, training personalities, and trivia, subscribe to Pageant Tidbits.